someone confess to drugging you and assaulting you, okay? This person broke down. They were in tears, sobbing, confessing to someone that they drugged you at some point to take advantage of you. And it's something like you have said that you were drugged and assaulted, but people didn't believe you, okay? But this person, however many moons later, they have confessed to someone that they did, in fact, four, cut the deck on the four of swords, three of cups was on the bottom, that at some point when you, were, you and this person were celebrating, they drugged you, put you in some sort of stupor, some sort of delusional state that you had to rest and recover from. So, Holy Spirit, what do we need to know about this download that I received? Please and thank you. You're being vindicated. That's why we're talking about this, because somebody needs to know that the truth is out about what happened to you. Okay? And it was 111 when I said that. People know that you were not lying nor exaggerating, because this person has confessed. I don't feel like they confessed to the police, but they confessed to somebody who has let it be known that you were telling the truth, okay? This person wants to turn themselves in because I heard that part too, but they were not encouraged to do so. They felt like maybe you had made some type of report when that happened to you, but they were not sure. But they even said that at one point during their confession. So Holy Spirit, one more show for y'all. What else do we need to know, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit, from you through me at this time regarding this download. What type of insight, clarity, truth? Overall, Holy Spirit, do we need to know at this time? Someone is being vindicated because someone has confessed. Let's go. We have death. Someone has ended this cycle of people not believing what happened to you. The, someone has ended this cycle of people not believing that you were telling the truth, okay? There's been some sort of transition in your situation and how people view you because they realize that you were in fact victimized, Ten of Swords, okay? That you were not lying about the level of deep wounds, crisis, collapse that you face, who, whatever they gave you, had your ass out on the ground like this, okay? And they did whatever they chose to do while you were in this dehabilitated state. But people know that you are a divine energy, someone who did not deserve what happened to them, and they feel bad that they did not believe you. They ain't tell you to your face they ain't believe you. But they chose to believe this person who took action against you to cause destruction in your life. They chose to believe that you were lying about being drugged and possibly assaulted sexually. Because the lovers coming out behind the Ten of Swords, it's really given that. Okay, with the Knight of Swords right behind the lovers. This, this love choice, whoever this is that did you the way that they did you? They did you bad, okay? And that shit been eating them up for quite some time to the point that they have broke down. That's that divine intervention, though. That's that temperance energy. God let this person moderate their life for a time, pretending like they didn't know what you were referring to or that they did not commit these acts against you. Some sort of sexual assault occurred against you while you were drugged, okay? You may have felt like you were even close to death from whatever they gave you, okay? You may have had to seek medical attention, but God let this person think that they got away with it for a while now, and now this person is trying to find meaning in their life. This, is, this person is depressed. This person is extremely distraught. They, can no, they could no longer live with that secret. Page of Cups. They had to 
release the truth. Try to make amends somehow. Give this information. Page of Cups talks about news, messages, information about love, but also about sincerity, about letting what people have been curious about be revealed, okay? When previously this man was on the defense, he, he continued to maintain that he had not done anything to you for a long time. I'm telling you. For a long time, this man challenged your statement about, and, and again, for some reason, I don't think you ever specifically called this person out, but it was some sort of word around the way, word around town type vibe. Like people knew that you had hung out with this person and you had ended up in the Ten of Swords, okay? And you may have expressed that something happened to you, but you may not have expressed who did it, but people had an idea because this man was questioned, Seven of Pentacles. Somebody questioned this man, possibly a number of people, about what he did, what did he invest in when dealing with you? What did he possibly do to you? What choice did he make? And for a long time, this man, 14 months, I just heard 14 months, this man has been denying to a number of people that he ever did anything to you, four cups, okay? Now, I said something about the police, and then we got the hyphen, four cups with the chariot, queen of swords, somebody in the legal justice system may have questioned this man. You may not know about it, but somebody may have questioned this man already or may have recent. This may be who he confessed to, child. Whoever this chariot queen of swords is, they may be somebody that this energy knows, this knight of swords energy knows that is in law enforcement and they let them know what they did and they were possibly trying to see what their options were. That's what this is giving me here. Clarify this chariot, queen of swords, Holy Spirit. Page of wands. This is who he communicated to, and they were weighing his options. Two of pentacles. This man knows that his ass can go to jail for what he did. Now, he ain't slow. But he roofied this woman. He roofied whoever I'm picking up on in my collective and took advantage of you sexually and denied it until he couldn't deny it anymore because his conscience was eating his ass alive. Okay? It's really something like that here. That's how karma got him. Because whoever this is, he has went to someone who is in law enforcement. And he's talked to them about what happened, what he did, and he's asked them, what are my options? You know, what decision do I need to make? Do I need to turn myself in? But this person told him no. But it might not even matter what this person told him. Because, baby, it's somebody else already looking into this, this matter here another individual of the law with this king of swords five of swords he didn't heard what this man did against this empress here and he's already looking into it so it don't matter what this queen of swords told this knight of swords to do anyway he already being investigated that's what i see here he, this king of swords is some sort of authority Okay, and he knows that this karmic person, because I'm trying to watch my mouth a little bit in this moment, because I can go off, but I'm I'm keeping it cool. Okay. But he knows this this man assaulted this woman. Five of Swords talks about assault, bullies, theft, rape. Okay, because that's what it's really giving. 
he know what time it is with this um energy and what action he took against this woman and he's investigating him for it that may not never come of it okay 10 10 it might be over with but he know the truth and he's been inquiring to get more info more details about what really occurred with this empress and this karmic individual because whoever you are, you have evolved from this situation. This is not something that has happened to you recently. This happened to you some time ago. I, I was here in 14 months, but I feel like it occurred before the 14 months. But for the past 14 months, he's been denying that he assaulted you. But justice is now being served on your behalf. Things are being balanced in your favor. Okay? It's like cause and effect. Eventually, his actions to betray you in the way that he did and then lie about it were going to catch up with him. Okay? Truth was going to prevail here, and it has. And he, he didn't tell on himself. That's what they've been doing lately, child. They'll, they'll say you a lie. They'll say you don't know what you're talking about. You crazy. You weird. Whatever the fuck. And then however many months or moons later, they'll turn right around and say exactly what you always said was the truth about them. Okay? They'll tell on themselves. That's also how karma will work. And that's damn sure how karma will work in this situation right here. Because this man had told on himself. But then he still ain't right. Because he tried to see Knight of Cups. Even in him disclosing what occurred. He still was trying to figure out if he had to serve any time behind it. If there was any type of repercussions. Five of Cups, Eight of Swords, Strength, Five of Wands the hangman that he was going to have to face for this Knight of Wands behavior that he had committed, okay? This man was still banking for his freedom, hoping that he could release his guilt about the situation but move on from it. He was practicing some sort of self-forgiveness, trying to find peace, but he wasn't really trying to be punished with this Eight of Swords. He ain't. Eight of Swords falling right up under the Hierophant. But I don't know why I'm picking up that this man might get arrested now. I'm picking that up. You know, he might have manifested that right on into his life with this high level of guilt that he's been holding in that has been festering within him. It's been festering because it's been eating his ass up. It's some sort of sickness, yuck, germ that's been spread all throughout him and he had to regurgitate it out however he could and he had to let it flow like vomit from his mouth. Okay? So I don't know. He might be sick too because what the fuck? Hold the spirit. <laughs> Y'all, Lord, forgive me, but I'm saying, I'm telling you, that's what I heard now. So I don't know what all he got going on, but it's bad. It's pretty bad here. Because if you've ever been roofy, okay, because I don't talk about nothing, I don't know too much, y'all. Just know that, okay? If you've ever been roofy, you could feel like you about to die. Shit, you can die, depending on how bad you got drugged. Okay, you but you could wake up the next morning like, did I die? What happened to me? Okay? And in between time of you being unconscious and not knowing what the fuck going on, multiple things can be happening to you, will happen to you, because that's the point of drugging you. Okay? So... I'll never forget one time, and this has had to have been at least about 10 or 11 years ago, I went went out with some of my so-called friends. I didn't realize they weren't my friends at the time, but I had went out with them, went about an hour away to the closest city, 
and we had went out hanging out downtown and stuff like that and we went to a bar downtown and these guys bought us all drinks but my drink was spiked okay and by the time we had left that bar and was going to the next club, I was already feeling like something wasn't right, okay? But I went on in the club with them, but those so-called friends left me. They was partying and doing whatever, being hoes. We're going to keep it real. And I think I, I, I ended up, like, passing out on a seat in the club, but the person whose club we were at, they knew him. So he looked out for me. Not the hoes that I was with. The guy who knew one of the girls I was with actually looked out for me. Then ended up making sure that they helped me get to the car because I had started throwing up. Threw up all night by the time I had got back to one of their apartment, whoever apartment we was at. Threw up all fucking night until the next day. Literally until I got back home had ate some Papa John's pizza and smoked an L, okay? And then I finally stopped throwing up, but I was so sick. So that's one of my roofie experiences. I've been roofie twice, okay? Luckily, I wasn't assaulted that time, but I'm telling you, that's how real it can get real fast. And this man knew exactly what he was doing to this woman, okay? Confirmation, that air shut off right when I said that. I'm telling you, his guilty conscience, though, again, is not on some full regret energy about what he did to this woman. Because if it was, he would be trying to make things right with her. That's how I feel personally. He wasn't alive for 14 months, claiming he didn't do nothing to her. Okay? Ten of wands. He would have been gave that shit up. If it was really about her and making things right with her. But no, it's about clearing his conscience. Ending this cycle of guilt that he's been feeling secretly for a long time. Okay? But that's why I feel like this King of Swords is about to secretly pop up on him about this situation. Because the moon is falling right up under the King of Swords. Because whoever this is, I'm telling you, it's still some sort of ego energy here. Like, yeah, I got away with it. I confess to it. I asked for, I confess to doing it. I asked for forgiveness, but I ain't getting no trouble. I'm getting to move on free and clear with this Ace of Wands, okay? Not truly having to, well, no, I ain't going to say that because he did suffer from his guilty conscience eating him up, but it was eating him up because of how it made him feel, not because of how it made the person he hurt feel. See, that's that's the energy that is missing here, okay? And that's why it ain't over. Clarify, Holy Spirit, the magician, his action, his self-confidence even that He's off free and clear from what he did to this woman. I'm telling you, this man ain't really feeling no guilt for how she hurt. And the Holy Spirit says, that's the truth now. He's just glad that he's got some sort of mental clarity. He can start over, so to speak, and because he's had a breakthrough in this self-imposed guilt he was feeling. Okay. I call it self-imposed because he was beating himself up about his actions and how it was destroying his life somehow, destroying his psyche, his conscience, his moral code. Because he done broke all kind of moral codes to drug and sexually assault someone. Because that's what he did do to this woman. Now, it's out here. The Ten of Swords on one side of the lovers and the Knight of Swords is on the other. Page of Pentacles. But that ain't enough. You know, he needs to have some sort of reflection on the pain and suffering that he caused for his victim. You know, this ambition to tell the truth, to clear his conscience, needs to have more... 
how can I say this? There needs to be more communication, okay? This woman deserves an apology because I'm telling y'all that she may have even had to move on to calmer waters after this incident occurred because of how people possibly were treating her because of what she had disclosed because you know how they do sexual assault victims, rape victims, victims of molestation and stuff. You already know. Is they they don't want to believe a motherfucker even when you telling the truth and even when the person can confess, you still got people who will shun you and say you lying or you manipulated something somehow. Just crazy shit, child. Okay, and that's the type of shit they were saying about this empress. Okay, when this man was denying. Any involvement has possibly even called this woman a hoe. I'm just looking at how these cards has fell up underneath each other. Okay. So, you know, he ain't finna get off scot-free from that. I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all be thinking somebody be trying to put judgment on nobody? No. I'm reading the energy, child. That's what I just heard. That's why it's not over. Because he hasn't been willing to fully communicate that apology, that expression of guilt and regret to the right person. And he snuck and did it with this queen of swords because he knew she wouldn't turn his ass in. But he knew that she knows the law and she could tell him what his options were if he would be in trouble or not. See, that's that sneaky shit right there, okay? But this woman had to move on to calmer waters behind this bullshit. So because he's not willing to communicate with this woman, how he lied and said she was promiscuous and he ain't have to drug her to get none and all that kind of shit. Because I hear his ass. I hear his ass. He had him going for a long time. Making people think that she was some sort of hot pants energy. And he does need to clear her name with her. I don't care. That's what I'm hearing. It's out here to clarify Holy Spirit. King of Pentacles in reverse. Will of Fortune. Five of Pentacles. Because it's really given that he ain't going to have no good luck. If he don't. King of Pentacles. Look now. King of Cups. He could be a Scorpio. He could be a Libra. He could be an earth sign. He could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. He could have all three of those prominently in his chart. But until this man decides that he want to do right by the person that he assaulted, he finna be in the King of Pentacles in reverse. His fate is going to change. The will going to be counterclockwise in his life, and he going to suffer. Five of Pentacles. You know, it's only just begun. That's what I heard. He thought he was fucking going through it all this damn time. Just wait and see what's coming. If he don't continue to press forward and make things right with the person that he hurt. The person that he was romantically involved with. Child, I'm trying to tell you. And just because you romantically involved with somebody, that don't mean that you can roofie them whenever you get ready just to sleep with them and have sex with them how you want to. That's not what that means, okay? You are never to roofie anybody, drug anybody, to take advantage of them in any way. So this is some shit this man probably has done with other women. Clarify, Holy Spirit, because it's given that, Emperor. It's given that control. He, he's, he need to be, people need to be protected from him. That's what I'm getting here. This person comes off as some sort of protector, but he likes to have some sort of control over who he's sleeping with. Okay. Nine of Pentacles energies. He likes to have control over these women. And how he has control over, over them is by drugging them. 
Ten of Cups. These women be looking at this man like he is somebody they could actually be with and have a future with. They ain't looking at this man as some sort of type of druggy rapist, okay? They be looking at him like, oh, I could partner with him. I could be in a romantic relationship with him. I could date him. I could sleep with him. So, see, he ain't got to be doing all that because I'm hearing these women. He ain't got to be putting these women in the nine of, nine of wands to have the three of cups with them. But that's what he's been doing. Wow. So, you know, it's more to him than meets the eye. But him doing this to this, to this particular divine feminine, that was the tipping point. Because I'm telling you, this man did this to other women. Other women, that's why this Queen of Wands energy came out here too. Because that's probably something that he does. He makes it seem like these women are just hoes or whatever. And they lying about accusing him of anything because they were wilding out. They were doing all kind of bold and erratic shit. And, that, and I hope this person ain't been recording nobody. Clarify, I don't know why I just got that. I don't know what. Ooh, ooh. So, let me tell you what I just got. Whoever this empress is, this motherfucker got her on camera doing some wild shit now when she was drugged up that she don't remember doing. But this woman has reported being drugged and assaulted. So people looking at this video this man has shared of her doing some wild ass shit and it's obvious that she's being that she was drugged. Okay? That's what I'm getting here that somebody slipped her ass a Mickey so that they can have a grand opportunity with her. Ace of Pentacles. And people was like, well, hold up. I heard this woman said she had got drugged by somebody and raped. And this shit looking a little off kilter to me, what I'm seeing on this video. See, it's something like that here. That's why this King of, King of Swords is still investigating this man. That's why even though he ain't confessed nothing to the proper authorities, because I don't want to get into how I'm feeling about this Queen of Swords chariot energy right now. But because he didn't confess things to the proper authorities, he didn't make amends with this woman the right way. That is why he's still getting caught up because he's also had this woman on tape. Okay. Seven of Swords right behind this Ace of Pentacles, y'all. See how people fucking do? And it was obvious when this woman was on tape that something was wrong with her. That she was being drugged sexually. She was, she was enduring some sort of suffering and grief. Okay? So, you know, he's sick. Because he didn't even see his sickness on camera. But these other people saw it. And these people that put two and two together... And that's why people started questioning him about if he, he assaulted this girl, okay? And he been denying it for however long, but I'm telling you, he didn't broke down and confess to a Queen of Swords cherry energy in particular. And there's also a King of Swords who seemingly has some knowledge and evidence about what he's done against this person and possibly other people, Okay. Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else here? Please and thank you. The Hermit. And I'm dropping the mic on this Hermit. Because he's been looking into this man's partnerships with various women. Because she ain't the only one. Just know that. And this King of Swords knows that too. And I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helped someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.